Hey guys, what's up? And to celebrate 10 years this month since the original iPhone's release, we're going to be counting down the biggest and best changes to the iPhone since its launch. I'll be judging the phones as a whole, not each feature individually, and ranking them based on how influential the added features were at the time they were released, and also how they've helped shape the iPhone we know today. I also want to add that I'll not be including the iPhone 5C or iPhone SE, as these are not considered part of the main family of iPhones that Apple has released. I will also be excluding the original iPhone, because as it was the first of its kind, there's nothing I can compare it to previously. With that out of the way, let's get into the list. Starting us off at number 10 is the iPhone 4S released in 2011. The features it brought were fairly minor, such as an improved antenna system to fix the previous generation's issues, 1080p video recording and Siri. They were literally the only new features, and although Siri was quite a big deal at the time, voice interaction on your iPhone had been possible since the 3GS released two years earlier. Although the phone still sold extremely well, this was easily the iPhone with the fewest added features and improvements, putting it at the bottom of the list. At number 9 we've got the iPhone 3G from 2008, the second iPhone ever made. This brought a minor design change from the original, with an all plastic back, a slight step backwards in terms of the design, as after the 3GS, all subsequent iPhones had full metal or glass enclosures. It was the first iPhone to be available in more than one colour, and although the options were limited, this was certainly a step in the right direction for Apple. Added features included GPS and 3G, although this was still extremely slow compared to current standards, taking 21 seconds to load a web page. As a second generation product, this was a slightly lacklustre device, bringing very few new actual features, potentially due to Apple's decision to halve the price. Number 8 is one of Apple's more recent devices, the iPhone 5S. This phone's flagship feature was Touch ID, a fingerprint sensor which was embedded in the home button. This revolutionised security, almost eliminating the need to enter passwords to unlock your phone or purchase apps, with the fingerprint scanner now being a must-have feature on any modern smartphone. It also brought along several camera improvements, such as an improved flash module with over a thousand colour combinations, an intelligent burst mode, and slow motion capabilities at 120 frames per second. Although Touch ID was a very major improvement, the fact that this and the camera improvements were the only new features means that this ranks pretty low on the list. Number 7 is the iPhone 3GS, which interestingly is the only iPhone where Apple have stated what the S stands for, speed. The reason this iPhone ranks higher than its predecessor, the iPhone 3G, on this list is not because of the speed improvements though, but due to the camera upgrades. The improvements to the 3 megapixel camera included video recording and tap to focus, breakthrough features at the time that paved the way to today's smartphones. There were also a handful of other minor features added, such as voice control, that later became improved and rebranded as Siri, and also a handy built-in compass. At number 6, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus from 2015. 3D Touch was this phone's main breakthrough feature, which became more widely adopted after iOS 10 made better use of its potential. Race to Wake, another exclusive feature introduced for the 6S and iOS 10, offered an alternative way to turn the phone's screen on without having to use the lock or home buttons. Always on Hey Siri made Siri vastly more accessible, with the phone no longer needing to be plugged in to summon Siri just by voice. This generation also brought a second generation of Touch ID that was lightning fast, making the 5S and 6's fingerprint sensors feel primitive and slow. And I haven't even mentioned the camera improvements yet, such as a 12 megapixel rear lens allowing 4K video capture and a front facing retina flash allowing better selfies on an all new 5 megapixel front facing camera. Although this phone came packed with many new features, none of them had a major impact on the way the product was used. Lots of people simply chose not to use, turn off, or are not aware of many of these new features, which is why this phone's only ranked at number 5. Number 4 is the iPhone 5, the first iPhone released after Steve Jobs' death. However, despite this, I think that the phone's new design was the most beautiful of any iPhone, potentially even any Apple product, with Apple still selling a phone that uses this design in 2017, five years later, the iPhone SE. This was the first ever size increase on an iPhone, with Jobs being adamant for years that 3.5 inches was big enough for any phone, and Apple's abandonment to this philosophy marked a very important step in the company's views and the smartphone industry. The new design also included the new, smaller lightning connector, which was also reversible, and a headphone jack placed on the bottom. The camera improvements included a new panorama mode, 720p video on the FaceTime camera, and FaceTime over 3G or even 4G that became supported for the first time this generation. 
Okay, so now we're into the top three. And coming in at number three is Apple's most recent pair of smartphones, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. The most obvious change to these phones that everyone doesn't seem to stop talking about is the removal of the headphone jack. However, there are several other major improvements that make this phone deserving of its high place in the list. The Plus model received what is arguably the biggest camera improvement on any iPhone, the dual camera system. This allowed not only two times optical zoom, but also incredible portrait mode photos, which effectively mimic the bokeh effects that can be produced with a DSLR camera. IP67 water resistance was also added with these phones, a long overdue feature that gave users a sense of security when using the phone near a sink, or when using it with wet hands. The solid state home button added in these phones was the first step in the direction of a fully on-screen home button that's rumoured to happen in the iPhone edition later this year. The stereo speakers were also a welcome improvement, improving not only the volume but also the quality of the sound produced. There's no doubt that the iPhone 7 brought some major new features, but to me they mostly seem to be like catch-up features. It's clear that Apple's held back from any design upgrades here, saving their new design for the 10th anniversary special edition phone that they're releasing later this year. The lack of any real design changes, bar the new black colour option, means that this phone falls just short of making it into the top two. Number two, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus from 2014. This marked a very important year for the iPhone, as it was the first year that Apple decided to release two flagship phones, giving users a choice between the different sizes. This huge shift from the one-size-fits-all mentality that the company had been adopting for the last seven years has earned itself the number two spot on this list. The new design Apple came out with for their flagship devices had a more rounded feel in the hand, longer, flatter buttons and a lock button that was now situated on the side of the phone for ease of use. This design hardly changed for the next two generations and isn't expected to change entirely until 2018, four years after the phone's launch. In terms of features, the 6 brought several major camera updates, such as 240 frames per second slow motion and optical image stabilisation on the Plus model. Apple Pay was also launched alongside this iPhone, and although it took a year or so to gain traction, it is now supported in 21 countries and is becoming more and more commonly used. This is one of the few features that Apple has introduced that really does give an entirely new use to the iPhone. And finally, at number one is the iPhone 4. Cited by some as the last great iPhone, it was one of the company's final phones with jobs at the helm. However, it wasn't a smooth release without having severe antenna issues, with the phone being unable to make or receive phone calls in certain situations, with Apple claiming people were holding it wrong. The situation reminds me greatly of the recent Note 7 case, with the company trying to cram so much tech inside a phone that major features end up being compromised. However, the issues with the iPhone were nowhere near as severe as those which plagued the Note 7, and even with the antenna gate situation, this iPhone had some truly revolutionary features for the time. The first of these features was the new design. This phone saw a departure from the previous phone's curved back, with the 4 bringing a new, more boxy design, and a far more premium feel with glass on the front and back. At the time, this was the biggest design change Apple had ever made to the iPhone, and 7 years later, this is still true. Aside from the new design, one of the phone's biggest selling points was its new retina display, sporting an impressive 326 pixels per inch. At the time, this was unheard of on a phone, and even today, Apple still uses 326 ppi on its iPhone 7. As if that wasn't enough, the iPhone 4 also came with another truly revolutionary feature, a front-facing camera. Not only did this create the selfie craze that's still ongoing, but it also allowed the introduction of FaceTime, Apple's take on video calling. Although the front-facing camera wasn't as high quality as the rear one, its inclusion was one of the most important improvements in the iPhone's development. Thanks for making it to the end of the list. If you liked the video, then please give it a like, or subscribe if you feel like it. And if you've got any opinions, then let me know in the comments section. I'll reply to every comment I receive. Hope you enjoyed the countdown, and I'll see you guys in the next video.